Hey guys, what's up? It's Austin Chilton here, and today we're going to be cooking some bluebell. These are fresh. I just caught them up and caught them in my backyard. Over there, I don't know if you can see it. Or yeah, you can see it. Okay. Anyways, so I'm going to show you guys how to cook the bluegill, and let's get started. First, I'm just going to wash them off. Real quick, I'll be right back. After I wash them off. Okay guys, now I'm going to show you what I'm going to be using to fry them for pan frying. Okay, so first we have a bowl of milk. Just any milk's fine. And then we have Pillsbury, like all-purpose flour. And I'm going to put them in the milk for a good minute or two to let them soak. Uh, not here. I cut out all the nasty meat. I just wanted the good meat for this. So we're going to put them in the milk and just let them soak for a minute or two. And I'll be right back in a minute. Hey guys, alright, I'm back. And now we have every bluegill flay all or fill it all like with wheat okay or wheat oh my gosh flour sorry I'm a little bit lousy today and we're gonna put it on to start pan frying okay. it's like this make sure you have your spatula ready and set it down I put mine on three, by the way. And it cooks really fast, so. Okay. You gotta constantly flip them over. This one, about ready. No. Not completely with that one. Maybe. Some of these take a little longer than the others. When they're, they look like they're done, let them cook for a couple more minutes so you know they're uh, they're ready. Cause they gotta be flaky, like easy to come off. Stuff like that. When some of them start to stop sizzling and stuff like that, you know they're ready. That one's ready. Ready. Another one. I don't know why these ones aren't cooking that fast, but ah, grease. And I finished my. Let them sit there for a couple more seconds. Yeah, these should be done now. And there you go. That's how you cook bluegill. 